Absolutely first on 10, we are hearing from a migrant family who had been living on the streets of South Florida after making the dangerous trek across the border with a child in tow. And Local 10 Tat Savella has the story as they get some much needed help tonight. Certainly you can understand this has been quite the voyage for this family. Four months trying to get to the U.S.-Mexico border and now 20 days living in the streets on a bus bench homeless. Tonight they sleep easier. Thankful to God, he says, and to Local 10 for the help. We were there earlier as Edison and his family were picked up, brought here to this hotel. Catholic Charities footing the bill, stepping in after we reached out. It's something that happens quite often. The CEO at Catholic Charities tells us this family can stay at the hotel for the short term. They've been on the streets. Um, they need to have a roof over their heads, a safe place where they can be temporarily. Tomorrow, they'll see a case manager who will assess their needs now that they've been processed at the border and are legally here. Earlier today, we met them at a bus bench where they had been living for weeks. Four-year-old Stefano made the sidewalk outside this building his playground. Their four-month trek starts in the jungle, the Darien Gap. That's the treacherous and dangerous path migrants use to get out of Colombia and Panama. That's where mom, Mercedes, was injured. The 33-year-old was treated in Costa Rica, but the infection was so bad they had to amputate. She's from Ecuador, and so is her son. Dad is Venezuelan, ended up here after a friend promised to take them in, but suddenly had to leave. So many days in the streets, it's been tough. Now they just want to rest. The goal for this father, of course, is not just being able to get back on their feet, but to be able to provide for his family, and that includes possibly finding a job. Reporting from Miami, I'm Hatsovala, Local 10 News.